June is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And as somebody that has spent the last five years having conversations with men, young men, middle-aged men, old men, across the world on a daily basis, I can tell you firsthand experience that we are in a mental health crisis right now with our men. And it'd be hard to find anybody that would push back to that statement. Now there's multiple factors that are leading to this mental health crisis, but it's resulting in men feeling lost, men feeling alone, isolated. 13% of men report to having zero close personal friends. Men are lacking purpose. Men are lacking drive, lacking motivation. And sitting at the root of a lot of these problems is the porn consumption use. You know, 75 to 80% of men admit to watching porn on a regular basis. So if we look at the trends in mental health issues, and if we look at the trends in consumption of pornography, those charts run parallel to each other. So what is pornography doing to our men's mental health? In this episode, I'm going to reveal with you eight negative effects, eight impacts that porn is having on the mental health of our men and give you some actionable steps here today at the end of this podcast. Before we get too deep into that, let me quickly take a moment, remind you who, it are, who we are and what it is we are doing here. My name is Coach Frank Rich, founder of the Rebuilt Man Podcast. And it is our mission to help men become better men by quitting porn and rebuilding their lives. And in the last four years, we've helped close to a thousand men break the chains of their pornography addiction. So if you stick around until the end, I'm going to give you some steps that you can take here today. But eight side effects, eight negative impacts that are being caused by the use and consumption of pornography. Number one is addiction. Addiction is a mental health crisis. The use over time of pornography leads to the compulsive behaviors, which will hinder your daily life, it will hinder your relationships. And if we lean into Dr. Anna Lemke's definition of addiction, the continued use of substance and or behavior despite the negative consequences. So when mechanize and identify that they're struggling causes feelings of hopelessness, feelings of isolation, all due to this addictive nature. And we know porn is one of the most addictive drugs in the world today. Number two is pornography creates unrealistic expectations, especially when it's something that is introduced early on in life. Exposure to pornographic content may foster the unrealistic views of sexuality, body image, relationships, to impact your self-esteem. Number three is pornography causes struggles within relationships. It can sometimes create disfatis dissatisfaction and affect intimacy in real life intimate connections. If you're so wired to be stimulated through the use and consumption of porn, that in times of being intimate with your spouse or with your partner, you can't show up, you can't be satisfied. And then you can have doubts about your own self. Number four is pornography leads to objectification. Frequent exposure may influence your attitudes, leading to the objectification and dehumanization of women. Do you not think that seeing women as sexual objects is having a negative impact on your mental health? When you can't see and interact with women as human beings, as people, you're missing out on a core component of life, of relationships, of connection, of community. Number five is pornography can lead to emotional desensitization. Over time, the excessive porn consumption may desensitize you to the sexual stimuli, oftentimes leading to affecting your emotional connections. Anybody that has been in a loving, intimate relationship long enough knows that 
sexual connection is a core component of creating connection, emotional connection. And if you're so desensitized to this due to the use of pornography, you will find yourself having a very hard and difficult time really being present, really being connected with others. Number six is pornography can lead to performance anxiety. The pressure to replicate these unrealistic experiences seen in porn can contribute to your anxiety, causing you to have porn-induced erectile dysfunction. This right here is one of the biggest drivers that leads men to reaching out to us is they've finally been woken up and realized, hey, this use of porn is now beginning to show up in my real life. I'm beginning to have doubts. I'm beginning to have issues with my performance. But trust me, if you stick with the process and you commit to quitting, all of these will reverse themselves. But this one specifically. Number seven is porn can lead to mood and self-esteem issues. Especially if it's something that you're committed to overcoming, but you find yourself stuck in the struggle your confidence, your belief within yourself of if you were ever really truly be able to overcome this will create doubts, negative emotions, lowering your self-esteem, causing you to have guilt, comparison to others, shame, creating these unrealistic standards of who you can become. And number eight is going to be the time impact. Excessive, excessive porn use consumes massive amounts of your productive and creative time, leading you to neglect personal responsibilities, leading you to neglect and impair personal relationships, causing you to once again feel isolated, alone. All eight of these lead to you feeling alone. All eight of these lead to you feeling isolated. All eight of these lead to you feeling less confident, having less belief within yourself, knowing that you're not living up to your true and full potential. Those eight impacts, once again, is addiction, unrealistic expectations, relationship struggles, objectification, emotional desensitization, performance, anxiety, mood and self esteem issues, and the time impact caused by massive consumption of pornography. We gotta raise awareness on these issues this month, fellas. We gotta raise awareness on these issues this month in our own life. And if we recognizing, hey, porn is impacting my life negatively, porn is beginning to show up in my mental health, it's beginning to show up in my physical health, it's beginning to show up in my work, it's beginning to show up in my personal relationships, now is the time to get back control. I mentioned that at the beginning, we've helped close to a thousand men get back full control of their life over the last four plus years, using a proven fully integrated, holistic approach to porn addiction recovery. And for the month of June, we're doing something we have rarely done. We're offering an insane, massive discount on our program, Reboot Your Life. This program by itself normally sells for $297 or four payments of $97. But today, this month, this month only, get access to the entire 12-week program no discount code required, but all 16 weeks of this program, four months, reboot your life, rebuild your body, rewire your brain, reshape your heart, become the man that is no longer addicted to porn. You can have all of this for just $99 today. Visit rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash no brainer or click the link down there in the show notes below. Buying the program in and of itself doesn't solve the problem, though. You have to put in the work. So only enroll in our course if you're willing and committed to doing what's necessary. If you want to stay stuck, if you want to stay addicted, if you want to continue to struggle with your mental health, then don't do anything about it. Continue to watch our videos. Continue to listen to our podcast. Continue to consume our content. But for the men that are truly committed to coming who they were born to be, click the link. Reboot your life, 16 weeks for $99 just today and for the month of June. But guys, we got to continue to have these conversations. It is necessary for us to have the truthful conversations about the things that are impacting our life. 
Coach Frank Rich of the Rebuild Man. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.